Hello, I am Dr. Kiran Coelho, Senior Gynecologist and Head of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Leelawati Hospital, Mumbai. Today, I will be talking on women and stress urinary incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence is the involuntary passage of urine when sneezing, laughing, even walking or whenever there is an increase in intra-abdominal pressure. Sometimes even lifting a heavy weight or even a sneeze would cause a loss of urine which is very very embarrassing. It's estimated that one out of every three women after the age of 40 will have stress urinary incontinence. But most women suffer in silence, are embarrassed to go to their doctor and discuss this situation. Now with stress urinary incontinence, it is so difficult for a woman to manage her day-to-day -day living because she has to wear a pad when she goes out and social as well as even her work life becomes strained because she has to wear a pad, she can't go anywhere and travel without an easy access to the bathroom and very often there are accidents when she may wet her clothes and undergarments and this results in other problems like locally irritation because of wearing a pad then staining because of urine etc and other urinary tract infections. So what causes stress urinary incontinence? Usually it occurs because the sphincter or the muscle around the bladder neck which holds the urine inside the bladder and prevents it from coming out that becomes weak and also the muscles of the vagina which actually the pelvic floor supports the bladder those also muscles become weak and as a result of which any strain like coughing, sneezing or lifting a heavy weight will cause the bladder sphincter to open up and the urine to pass involuntarily. Now this trauma to these muscles, why do these muscles become weak? Usually it's around the time of menopause or premenopause because naturally the ligaments become weak and also people who have had vaginal deliveries or forceps deliveries or you know um, vacuum assisted deliveries at that point of time the muscles are weakened the ligaments are torn and this becomes manifest later on when they reach the age of menopause and sometimes chronic cough chronic constipation some medications like alcohol nicotine etc which and spicy food which irritate the bladder may also cause stress urinary incontinence now how do we diagnose Usually the history, of course, the patient will say that when she coughs and sneezes, she passes urine and therefore we can do a simple clinical test by lifting up the bladder wall and one can see put two fingers and lift up the bladder neck and then the patient does not pass urine. This is the only time when we examine a woman with a full bladder. So when you do ask the patient to come with a full bladder, then cough and you can see the spurt of urine coming out and this can be stopped by just lifting up the bladder neck. Then other tests like doing a cystoscopy, putting a telescope inside the bladder, then uh, urodynamic studies to actually find out and diagnose stress urinary incontinence and to differentiate it from the other incontinence which is urgency incontinence. Usually when there's infection of the bladder, the bladder contracts even if it's not full. So one has an urgency and before one can go to the toilet and remove one's underwear, the urine comes out. And that is usually due to infection and that has to be treated separately. So for stress urinary incontinence, simple uh, treatment would be to improve the bladder control, one can do simple exercises like Kegels exercises or pelvic floor muscle training exercises and 30% of women who do these exercises will be relieved of their symptoms. For those women who have to wear a pad all the time and their stress incontinence is too bad, then in that case it's a very simple procedure which is an outpatient procedure called tension free vaginal tape or TVTO where we just put in this tape through the vagina and it goes up and lifts up the bladder neck. This tape becomes part of the body later on and lifelong these women will have continence. And therefore, don't hesitate to go to your doctor when you have stress incontinence. Don't suffer in silence. There are a lot of treatments available and simple inexpensive treatments to help women with stress urinary incontinence. Thank you.